Hello and welcome to Britain's Hardest Villages with me, Danny Dyer. I'm in Kimbury in West Berkshire and you are going to see some stuff that's going to blow your mind. Hello and welcome to Britain's Toughest Villages. I'm here today in Kimbury in West Berkshire. Now, you, you may have seen some things in your time, but some stuff goes on here people don't know about. You've got to see it for what it is. Now this is going to be unreal. In this episode, I'll meet some of Britain's oldest men in one of the toughest places in the whole country. And the corner stalls get more than they bargain for when they try selling us legal eyes. Now I went over to meet the top boy at Kimpy Rangers Football Club. He's the chairman, his name's Abu, and he has seen some stuff at that football club you would not believe. <laughs> so, what are the main problems that you find both on and off the field at Kimpy Rangers Football Club? Well, we have fucking loads of problems down here. We've got stabbings, rape for the biggest problem that's legalised. Fucking maniacs. Legal highs? Yeah, you know, the urban sea. Now this is one of the top girls in the Kimbury pub, Chardonnay, and she has seen the effects of legal highs in action. So, Chardonnay. Can you tell me what goes on down here of a Friday night? Well, it's a big problem. Lots and lots of fights, people on legal highs, smashing glasses. One time, someone actually got bored. I mean, blood everywhere. I've heard a lot of things about legal highs in Kimbray that they are rife. We've been told the corner stores are to blame for this. Can you vouch for that at all? I don't like to say on camera. <laughs> But it's the place to get them. It's the place to go. This is Charlie, the landlord and one of the toughest pubs in Kimbury. Now, he has seen some problems with legal hires in his times, and I go to the root of the problem. Why are they causing so much violence? This, well, first I couldn't put my finger on it. I just thought it was a drink. I thought it must be some good drink to get him. And I found out they've been doing legal hires. You buy them all the rage off the internet. They were starting on this thing called meow meow. I didn't know what they were talking about meow meow. I thought they were talking in code or talking funny, but bloody hell, they were doing legal highs. And now they're saying called woof woof. I thought they were talking about my dog Charlie Cairn. Let's go get the woof woof. Right? They're doing fucking legal highs. There's been rumours that uh, legal highs have been being sold by the corner shop in Kimbury. Can you vouch for this at all? I can't say nothing about the corner store or only what I've heard at the bar anyway. The corner store biggest player in Kimbury. There's a few small time dealers, they, they fill their out but at the corner store you can get anything. Woof woof, meow meow, legal highs, anything you want, the corner store can get your mouth. Finally, have you ever been tempted by legal highs? I can't be tempted by legal highs. I don't even drink. I'm a landlord. I might be a chaff, but I don't drink. I'm not going to put my ass there yet. I'm fucking out of there. I've had enough of this shit. This place is a dump. I've let down everyone. I can't find a source. There's just nothing. There's just nothing I can do. I just don't... Oh, I'm, I'm just fucking... Hang up that. What do you oh. think you're doing, mate? Oi! Oh. No, no fucking camera, no. It's a fucking addiction, yeah? You get into the veins quickly. Well, hey. Look, right, we're doing this to raise awareness. We want to find the source. Oh, I can tell you the fucking source, but I'll get to the source. The source is everywhere. What's the source? It's a fucking corner shop. It's a fucking pole. So it's the they corner give, shop. They give you a fucking couple of free bags. Just as we suspected. Yeah, they give you a fucking couple of free bags. They hook you on it. It's fucking addictive. Oh, you need another hit, yeah? I've got a proposed something to you. We can go up and get your legal hide. We can take yeah. you up there on one condition. Well, man, I'll do fucking anything for some more. I'm on my last bag. Right. You're going <laughs> undercover, son. What? You are going undercover. You are going to make this. That's what's a fucking herbal, man. That's my fucking herbal. Oh. I don't even want my fucking herbal. Yeah. You want me to take you to the source? 
Let's do it. We're back in business. How much does that set you back here? It's got some more, more private here. Yeah. So, uh, how much does that set They've got fucking rack fulls of the stuff, look, 198. 198. Oh, pack it. That's disgraceful. It makes me sick. This is the stuff that's flying off the shelves, yeah? This is the stuff the people want. They want their green tea, they want their plastic. There's no fucking pissing around with this stuff. This will get you going. It just ruins lives, it does. Yeah, look at the state of the poor fella. He can't do a thing, can he? Is that fucking one here? I can't help. This is going to be my last fucking pack. That's what they all say. That's what they all say around here. I'm an East End boy. Right? East End of London, I'm proud of it. But I've got to say, it's been humbling. You just don't expect it, you know? What goes on in these places? It's just. It's just mad. It's, Stressing me out, you know. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs>